Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm a hey guys, your boy Jackie, and I'm back with another video today. And if y'all cannot see from the title of the video, I'm here for a college advice video. Alright, so I just finished my first semester at Kennesaw State University and I learned a lot throughout that semester. There was a lot of things that I wish I did, and there's a lot of things I wish I didn't do. But there's only one thing you can do is live and you learn. And so with that being said, that's why I decided to create this video so I could give y'all some advice for incoming freshmen. But before we start, I need to say this. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you are new to my channel and you enjoy this video, I appreciate it if you go down and hit that subscribe button. But if you're a returning subscriber, I love every single one of y'all. And I need y'all help though. I need y'all to tell everyone y'all know about this video because we are so close. Once we hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, I mean, I might have a little giveaway for y'all or something. And I also have a special video planned for y'all. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. And lastly, before we start, I want to say this. I do go to Kansas State University. I just finished my freshman year there. I'm about to be a sophomore. And yeah, these are all from personal experiences. And these are just some advice that I came up with that I think would help other students. So let me know down below in the comments if y'all go to Kennesaw State University or just let me know down in the comments down below what school y'all are going to. With that being said, let's get into the video. So to start off, I just want to say congratulations on graduating. That is a big accomplishment and I just want to say congratulations. So right now, I know a whole bunch of y'all are going through different emotions. Y'all might be excited, y'all might be nervous. It's just a whole bunch of different emotions. I just want to say take a deep breath and just relax because you're about to go to college. So... You know, you worked so hard in high school to be here. So you just take a deep breath and just relax. Everything's going to be okay. With that being said, hopefully with these advice that I'm about to give you, these will help you calm down and, you know, just relax and help you ease your transition to college. So the first thing I'm going to say is just talk to everyone. I know going from high school, you see all these people every single day. And once y'all graduate, you probably aren't going to see a lot of them again. And not all of them are going to your college. So with that being said, I want y'all to talk to everyone. Just talk to everyone. It does not matter who they are, just talk. Because you don't know. You could be just talking to someone randomly that's chilling in the student center or something and they become your best friend. It could be someone in your class and they just you sit next to them and you start talking. Talk to everyone because I know I know you're about, you're about to go into like a new situation. You're not gonna have the old friends you had. Maybe a, maybe a handful, but you're not gonna have like the old friend group you have. You're gonna have to make new friends. So just talk to everyone, and if people don't want to talk back, then that's okay. You know, there's so many people at different universities. Because I'm not at Kennesaw alone. We have like 30,000 students. So if one doesn't want to be your friend, that doesn't matter. You can just talk to someone else. You know, find your little small clique, and you know, just talk to everyone. Be yourself. Just talk to everyone. All right. So number two is do not change for no one. So let's say you meet a guy or a girl, y'all get into a relationship. Don't change for that other person. Always be yourself. Don't change because that man wants you to be a different way or don't change if that girl wants you to be something else. Don't change, always be yourself. The same can be said with friend groups. Let's say you meet a friend group, they invite you. Do not change who you are to try to fit in with that friend group. That's just not the right friend group. Like I said before, just talk to everyone. There's so many people on campus that y'all can make friends. There gotta be someone on that campus that's just like you and you do not have to change to be friends with. So do not change who you are. Always be true to who you are. Don't change for no one, do not. Number three, you make your college experience. So basically what I mean by that, so let's, I'm gonna give you an example. So let's say you just stay in your room, you don't make an effort to go make friends and you just stay in your room and you go back home to your high school, hometown, whatever, to go hang out with your friends. Of course, you're gonna say, oh, I hate that school. There's nothing to do, I'm always so bored. I gotta go home and hang out with my old friends. No, that's on you because you aren't making an effort to make new friends. So basically what I'm trying to say is just try new things, you know. Go try things you've never done before. Because I know at Kennesaw, for example, they had a lot of activities where you can try different things. You know, if you're not a party person, go try a party. Go try new things. Like, like I said before, talk to people, you know. Be yourself, though. <laughs> like, just try new things, you know. You're, you in, you're only in college once, basically. So make the best out of it. You make your college experience, so go have fun, but be safe while you're doing it. And, you know, try new things. Number four, bring what you need. So, this is for when you are moving out of your house to move to your apartment or your dorm. Don't bring everything, you just bring what you need. So like, let's, for example, let's say in high school you have a lot of trophies from sports and just a lot of academic awards, and like a whole bunch of awards and accolades that you want to bring. You do not need that. Because honestly, that's just gonna sit up and just collect dust. You know, you do not need unnecessary things. So just bring things that you need. Like for example, like your bed sheets, TV, laptop, pillows and stuff, and clothes. You don't need to bring 
no no collectible it's just collecting dust in your room for me an example of a thing that i brought that was so unnecessary was my football helmet from high school what was wh why did i bring it i don't know because i i don't i don't know like i i thought it looked cool in my room it, it just sat in my car and yeah it was just collecting dust so bring what you need and do not bring any other extra stuff you know just like so when you do move out just be like do i need this or do i want it you know what i'm saying you gotta do that need versus the want number five be safe so make sure you just know your surroundings make sure you know who you're hanging out with make sure you know just be safe you know so like let's say you go to the party and someone tries to drug you and stuff make sure you just keep an eye on your drinks and stuff and just be safe and then if you're walking at night alone like especially if you're a female make sure you have something because you know it could it, like it could get dangerous i'm not i'm not trying to scare none of you but like the world we live in right now is not the best and so just be safe always know your surroundings make sure you know like let's say if you do have to walk home at night make sure there's like a group of people make sure you're not alone because you know you try to be safe you don't know what can happen out here so just be safe number six make a schedule that works for you so i know i've seen a lot of people say don't take more in class and you'll regret it but for me it just depends on what type of person you are if you're a morning person or if you're a night person like your schedule can vary so class start from like i would say 8 a.m and the, the last one starts at like 9 p.m so just make a schedule that works for you so let's say you're a morning person you can start your day at 8 and be finished by like 1 or 2 or if you like if you have to work in the morning and you have to schedule for nighttime you can start your schedule at like 5 and end at like 10. You know, just make a schedule that works for you and make sure you are on that schedule make sure you know what to do and like just because i know time management is very key make sure you are on your stuff because time like time cannot be given back it can only be taken so just make sure you know your schedule just make a schedule that works for you because it's your schedule you know so yeah so i would say if you are a morning person and you are able to wake up at 7 in the morning to take at 8 a.m or whatever do it but if you aren't, take later the classes. Seven, talk to your professors and counselors. So each professor has their own designated office hours that you can go talk to them and get help if you don't understand anything in their class. And also this shows the professors that you are actually trying to pass the class. You are putting in the effort to try to pass their class. So it looks good. So let's say at the end of the semester you have a 69.7. They might bump you up. Who knows? Not all professors will bump you up, but if you show them and like they get to know your face and you show that you're trying to pass the class, they might they might round it up. And also talk to your counselors, especially because I know class making and all that stuff, and then you might be struggling with mental health and all that stuff. You can talk to your counselors about anything. You pay tuition, and I know at Kansas State we have stuff like that, so you can go use them. You pay tuition to go there, and that's how they get paid. So you can go talk to your counselors about anything, about classes, mental health. If you're struggling with anything, just talk to them. You know, they're at your resources, so yeah. And lastly, number eight, <laughs> I think is number eight, yeah. But I'm combining, it's gonna be time management and money management. So I kind of talked about time management before, but I'm gonna talk about it again. Time management is so key. So for me, I have my schedule where I, I go to class and I go to work after. So make sure you have a schedule that works for you and your time management is key. So like mine would be mine would be class, homework, work, and probably more homework. And I'll have free times when I don't work. You know, you just have to make a schedule and time management that works. Cause like let's say you have a little gap between each class, because I do have you will have gaps between each class sometimes. And so you have free time. What do you do in that free time? Do you take a nap or do you go hang out with friends or do what it's time management make sure you on top of your school because i know you at school to have fun but school always comes first so make sure you do school and then go have fun money management money management is very important because let's say you aren't able to get a job or you don't work money management is very key because money disappears fast in college like you can look at your bank account and have a thousand dollars the next week you get like 500 and you'd be like, where'd my money go? You just gotta be careful with what you spend, you know? It's, at this point, like, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna teach y'all some econ, you know what I'm saying? So, basically, it's it, it's a need versus a want. If you need it, then you can get it. If you want it, you can hold it off, save money, and then eventually get it. Because I'm telling you, time management and money management are very important. 
So keep on top of that. But yeah, those are all the advice that I have for y'all today. And yeah, if y'all cannot tell, yeah, those are all things I definitely struggled with my first year in college. But hey, it's okay because you live and you learn. But with that being said, the best advice I can give to any college student though is just that you make your college experience. So go try new things, go make new friends, just be yourself and just have fun. But remember, you're in school for a reason. School comes first, then go have fun. Because I'm telling you, if you sit in your room and do nothing, make no, no friends, you don't do none of that, you're gonna hate yourself and you're gonna hate that college. But it, in reality, it's on you. So don't be that person. So go out, have fun, make new friends, but focus on school as well. Before I end this video, I wanna say this again. Congratulations on graduating and just take a deep breath and relax. Hopefully this video will help you ease that transition to college, but you know, just take a deep breath and just relax. You got this, you got this, bro. I believe in you. If I got it, you got it. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, share, and I'm out.